I love raspberry pi. Um, this isn't actually about pi as in edible pi. Um, raspberry pi is a very small computer system that's extremely cheap. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is that I've got some ideas for this. Um, it's also, I've got my son one for Christmas. Um, that, like I said, he plays on his tab all day and stuff right, lately, and I want to move him away from that. Um, with a Raspberry Pi, we're going to look at doing some robotics with him so he can learn the program and have a little robot arm and stuff. Um, but that was the original concept, and we're still going to do that. But looking at the capabilities, this machine because only like 26 pounds i think it is uh, it'll be dirt cheap in the us because uk normally gets ripped off uh let me just check raspberry now there's a few things i want to bring up here yeah you're talking from 30 euros first thing is because they're only about 30 euros, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. If you look at a lot of electronic devices, a lot of them are overpriced. For example, you could do a multimedia center using one of these Raspberry Pis. Yes, you will have to put a hard drive and whatever with it, but the point is it's possible. Um, surveillance cameras, you can do it with it. There is more complex stuff I'm interested in doing um, relating to controlling things like air conditioning units, etc. Because if I get a module on a, say, a step, step motor or a variable speed controller, I'll just say blah, 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 because I know some people ain't going to know what I'm talking about. These units that are on the side of them can cost 200, 400, 600 pounds a piece. Now, the electronics in them are very simple. Um, I know a lot of people go, yeah, but they're specific to that machine. The Raspberry Pi is not specific. That's the whole point, is you can adapt it. You know, because you've got the USB, you've got the outputs, you've got the ability to add Wi-Fi, you've got, you can reprogram the thing. I can make it pretty much work with anything, which is why I'm looking at this and going, light bulbs on. Um, there's options to do things with this. Um, the reason I'm talking about it to you is I know a lot of you people are in the same industry and the odds on people being bothered in my industry to even watch my video is probably quite slim. Um, but even slimmer, those that can program and do electronics. Because <laughs> um, my ability to do... Well, first I'll have to learn to program these things, but... The electronic side, most of the guys I know have no idea. Um, they can do air conditioning. They, they can do all the um, testing, compressor testing, fault finding. Well, a lot of them can't even fault find. Um, but the point is they don't have the combination of skills to actually do this. Um, so I can't see too much risk in sharing information. But the reason I'm sharing it with you is everybody's doing something different here so you may not have come across a raspberry pi but you may be doing something already they could use one uh, you may be using something that's costing a lot of money um, where this could actually update it um, for example a raspberry pi you can drive servo motors what's a servo motor well let's just imagine a dome camera an expensive dome camera can cost £600,000, um, often only driven with four motors. The motors you could control with a Raspberry Pi, and your Raspberry Pi, Pi you could connect to a camera network. So you could actually use the Raspberry Pi to be your camera, and you could do the optics yourself a lot cheaper. This is what I'm talking about. This, this opens a lot of doors for a lot of things. Um, it's learning how to program the thing and finding stuff that people haven't thought of yet. Because I know we're looking at how we can increase our income. And I looked at this and I thought, this is easy. Okay, I have to learn a program. 
Python, etc. And, you know, instead of watching TV, I can sit and learn a program. And the other thing is they're designed for children, etc., to develop with. So it's not going to be complex. Because, you know, what I was saying earlier about a lot of the stuff um, is not complicated. It, it's, for example, a thermometer inside an air conditioning unit for or a humidity sensor to test the humidity for say artwork because um, you need to keep a constant with the humidity with paintings etc so that it doesn't deteriorate the paintings so you could actually have a unit that detects and monitors humidity and operates fans for example and the uh, the jets of water across the the air conditioning units all this sort of stuff can be done with this unit and you're probably thinking yeah but that really comes with it yes it does and sometimes it doesn't sometimes it's a case of the air conditioning units gone faulty 10 years ago and there's no budget to actually replace the module that controls it and yes that does happen the there is also the opportunity that the fact is the unit's obsolete so the companies want you to buy a whole new unit but with this i could actually program the damage section and basically replace the electronics while utilizing all the parts for everything else that's there so that's my little green light my little light bulb that's come on for me and like i says i don't mind sharing it with you guys because i don't think any of you guys are in my industry but at the same time, it's it's a lot more complex than it sounds. But there is no doubt some of you guys out there that have just had an idea. They thought, oh, I could use that for this. Um, I know there's people that are doing things with terminals, um, be it for... Buying donuts, I don't care, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. You, these things you could actually add a touch screen, these things you could add a, a monitor to it, these things you could add a screen like a LCD screen, LCD touchpad, etc. There's so much you can do with it. So there's a lot of things you could have a think about, and this is why myself I'm going to be busy with these things, but at the same time, I'm quite happy to say, look. You need it's something you guys want to have a look at because these things are cheap. Um, that's the driving force for me <laughs> because, I, like I said, the bigger stuff for these bigger modules that the corporates normally sell um, are overpriced and often um, generic things. It's like the same with the servo motor, the driver motors. When I was working, where is it? It's one of the. Uh, one of the big security firms. The big security firms charge £200 to come out and look at a security camera. They then charge about £150 a motor. Um, and you know I said there's four drive motors inside one of these cameras. The drive motors only cost £16 for a few of them. Um, because they're RS, radio spares, radio shack, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're off the shelf electronics. But these guys are charging replacement motors, 150 pounds each. So that's 600 quid for the motors, 200 quid for coming out. That's 800 pounds for the day, which is replacing the whole camera is only 600 pounds. Um, not bad, is it? And I'm sitting there thinking, okay, well that's that, 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 that. I can do this. Yeah, ADT. That was the company. Um, so yeah. The, I just want to put that out there and like I said you might even have thought of something already where this could actually be helpful for you and something you could sell on something you can make money off something that could potentially be a new business for you um, that's why I thought I'll share this now I was just going to bed and I thought I'll do this before I go to bed research Raspberry Pi that's all I can say on this because somebody within this YouTube channel will make some money off this without a doubt if they put their mind to it even if it's a multimedia box detect, de um, put things like Kobe on it uh, and then attach a uh, hard drive to it 
it'll work with Raspberry Pi. Alright, thanks for watching.